6 o'clock news with Glenn Armstrong. Hello and welcome to the 6 o'clock news, your source for all things 6 o'clock here at Camp Lambeck. I'm your main anchor, Glenn Armstrong reporting. Today is Friday, July 8th, 2016, and your last day here at camp. Today you focus on the verse Galatians 3.9, which reads, So those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham. He was the man of faith. Well, campers, this may be the very last time that I speak with you. And I just want to let you know that I have enjoyed being your news anchor for the past five years here on the 6 o'clock news. Until next time, kids, remember, God loves you. Now, let's see what you guys did today at camp. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hello, this is Cole Kyle with your polar bear report. After last night's rain, the lakes look a, lake looks a little choppy, but hopefully we'll still have some kids down here to do the polar bear swim, especially since this is my last day. Let's go see how they do. Hello, this is Cole Kyle with your Polar Bear Report, and this is... Matthew and Willow. Okay, guys, you are one of the few people that are actually here for the Polar Bear Swim. How does that make you feel? Good. Proud. You should be proud, because that's really good. How was the water this morning? Warm. Warm. Well, that's good. That's really good. Hello, this is Cole Kyle with the Polar Bear Report, and this is... Bailey. Isaiah. Okay, guys, once again, you are one of the few people that are actually here for the Polar Bear Report. How does that make you feel? Good. Wonderful. Have you two gone every day? Yes. Yes. These are dedicated polar bear swimmers. That's fantastic. Hello, this is Cole Kyle with the Polar Bear Report, and this is... Pizza. Ashlyn. Maria. Rachel. Okay, guys, what did you think of the water this morning? Warm is coldish. It's chillier than yesterday. Cold. Looks pretty good. Now, Rachel, I see you aren't wearing your swimsuit, but I think that's that's okay because I heard there was a sighting last night. There was a snore. Really? Yes. Two. And there were skittles on our porch when we woke up this morning because they poop skittles. That is certainly suspicious of a really? snore activity. Hello, this is Cool Kyle with the Polar Bear Report, and unfortunately, this is my last day. My relatives over in Canada said they want me to come back, so that's where I've got to go. Camp Lambeck, it's been an honor being your Polar Bear anchor for these two years. This is Cool Kyle signing off for the last time. Shark attack, now gaga -ga ball, with fishes across the sea. Looks like you guys are gonna have a great day. Hello there. What what guy, game were you guys just playing? Uh, it was like fishes. Who was the champion? Me. I was. 
No, wait. Was I was. Ones. I was. I was. Three awesome. ones. The three finalists in the I first round, the and there were a whole bunch of people left in the second. Yeah. I was really? They, that looked like an intense game. Was it the best game so far today? No. no. Yes. yes. Today. Yes. 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 They should have been yes. Yes. I won. I think it was. I I won. How are we supposed to tell? I, it's I the first day. I, I don't see the camera anywhere. It's up there. Uh, I think I think we're good. We're good. Oh, hey, I'm Kelly Samora here with. I'm happy. And uh, so, what what are you playing over here? Uh, it's something like soccer, I think. It has a ball. I don't know. So, uh, are you good at it? Yeah, I'm really good at it. Okay, so, uh, so you winning or anything? Yeah, I think I'm winning. I, we're still in the middle of it. Okay, did you like the hamburger at lunch oh, yeah, that we very, had? That, that, that we, that we had? I'm stuck. Very good, very good. It's very good hamburger. Okay, uh. Yeah. Did you have it? Yeah, I had it. Very good. Soccer? Peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter sandwiches. Hi, I'm Kelly Samora here with. Tarina? Abby? Ainsley. And uh, what game are you guys uh, playing here? It looks like, uh, you know, some sharks? It's like rescue something. We're rescuing people when there's things in the middle. Uh, I mean, they're just kind of sitting there right now, but they're going to take at us. Yeah, you see, they're, they're over there. They're over there. I, yeah, she's talking. Um, but yeah, we're going to play this soon, I hope. But yeah, it's really fun. I, and we're there. We go on that side, and you go over to the other side, and you keep going and going and going until eventually you've rescued everybody. And hopefully the sharks don't get you, because if you... Oh, is it that stopped? Okay, okay. That was a really good explanation. Where are you? Oh, well, uh, I don't really know either. It's fun. Oh, uh, yeah, well, that was a really, really fun game. Oh, uh, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Kelly Samora, uh, as well. It's fun. Fun, yes. <laughs> so, um, we're, we're gonna be, keep playing it. Yeah, 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 we're gonna keep playing it, yes. Yeah, it was... <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, it was fun. Very fun, very fun. We keep doing it over and over, and it's kind of frustrating, but... What about what about that game of Capture the Flag last night? Was that... The... Hi, I'm Kelly Samora here with... Luke and Caden. So, uh, what game what game are you guys playing over here? You... Uh, we're oh. playing uh, Tic-Tac-Toe Extreme. Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe. Oh, so, uh, how ultimate, how ultimate was it? Very ultimate, very ultimate. Oh, yeah, so good. Oh, okay, well, uh... So you, you guys, you guys, uh, you guys gonna, you gonna keep playing and stuff? Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we try to do tic-tac-toe. Yeah, yeah, we won. Oh, so, uh, you got tic-tac-toe, right? You're gonna win? Yeah, it's, yeah, we got it all three times. Oh, that, so. Yep, we're, we're, we gotta go fast, though. Yeah, we're on the same team, we win. Oh, so, sounds good. Hi, I'm Kelly Sabar here with Cassidy. And uh, so, what 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 happened last night with that capture the flag game? Uh, it was a really fun game. Oh uh, yeah. So, uh, did did you did you win? Yeah, we won a lot, a lot of times. My hat's really cool. So, did you uh, did you what what team were you on? Uh, I was on blue, cause my hat is blue. Wow, that was a really great answer. I don't know what else to say. I really don't know what to say either. But it was a lot of fun. Wow. Great answer. There, yes, 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 we won. Hello, my friends. It's Gustav Oshnelski, and for once in my life, I actually have something to report. Today, we have a water shortage, and I have been assigned to look for a new water source. But, uh, as you can see, the lake is absolutely bone dry. There is no water in sight. And I just don't know what we're going to do about this water shortage. There's just no usable water here. I just look at it. It's completely dry. It's like it's not even, it's not even wet. It's like there was no water here at all. Guess I'll have to go look somewhere else. <clears throat> and as you can see, Camp Lambeck, I'm here at the pond. And, uh, or what used to be the pond. As you can see, there's absolutely no water in here. It is completely... Com completely bone bone dry. So uh, this is actually where we get our drinking water. So uh, oh, of course it's perfectly sanitized and cleaned before we drink it with chemicals and all that cleanly stuff. But uh, I don't think they're going to have any luck finding water here. So we'll have to look somewhere else. Mm -hmm. 
And as you can see, campers, there's absolutely no water for showers either. So I'm sure this problem will be solved sooner or later. But you know, there's probably going to be some people that are a bit dirty today. As you can see, campers, there's absolutely no water here at Camp Lambeck. I'm just not really sure what we're going to do. You know, with this water shortage, we need to conserve water as much as possible. I'm just really not sure where we can find some fresh water, so... Definitely not here. Hello, my friend, it's Gustavo Schnelski, and I found a source of water. Right there. It might not be much, it might not be drinkable, but I bet that some people will be able to get a shower now. Maybe. But anyway, after my long search of water, I need to settle down and just take a quick drink. This has been Gustav Oshnowski, and we'll see you later. Are you tired of your kids always playing those annoying video games? Do you wish you could get them off the internet for just five minutes? Are you sick of those rowdy teenagers messing up your house? Hi, Willie Breeze here with The Bible, the fast, easy solution to fix all your problems. The Bible can change your life and relieve your strife. This book is the very word of God himself, specially meant for you. You can read the Bible at any time of day, whether at morning or at night. If you are reading the Bible, the time is always right. You can take the Bible anywhere. It's so portable. Take it with you in the car and read it while you're driving to provide spiritual guidance for the day. You can take it with you to the gym and read it during your workout. You can even read it outdoors when you're doing your household chores. And we guarantee that the Holy Bible will make a difference in your life. You see, the secret to the Bible is the time-tested wisdom that lies inside these pages, the very Word of God. If you want one of these great books for your home, Call now and we'll send you a Bible for only three easy payments of $19.95. But wait, there's more. In this once in a lifetime special offer, we'll throw in the all new Bible squeegee. The next time your Bible gets water on it, don't use paper towels, you know they're not gonna work. Just one swish with the Bible squeegee and the water is gone. It's a $20 value, yours free. That's the Bible with the Bible squeegee in $80 value, yours for only three easy payments of $19.95. But wait, it gets even better. If you call and order in the next 15 minutes, we'll throw in this free Bible carrying case. Just put your Bible inside and it's protected. This heavy duty tote has the ability to withstand storm force winds. It's a $15 value, yours free when you call and order now. That's the Bible squeegee, the heavy duty Bible tote, and the Holy Bible for only three easy payments of $19.95. If you were to buy these items separately in stores, it could cost you up to $400. But for this once in a lifetime TV offer, you can get it for only three easy payments of $19.95. But it gets even better, folks. We'll knock off one of those payments. 
making it only two easy payments of $19.95 for a limited time only. So call now and get the deal of a lifetime. That's the Bible, the Bible squeegee, and the heavy duty tote, all yours for just two easy payments of $19.95. You never know how the Bible might change you. So read the Word of God today and see the better way with the Holy Bible. Warning, this is not a real offer. Please do not call an order. You do not have to pay any money to read the Word of God. Dump jokes. Hey, why do stadiums get hot after a game ends? I don't know why. Because they're hot? Because all the fans leave. Oh my ha, ha, ha. Ha. Okay, <laughs> shoot, shoot. Did you hear about the sensitive burglar? No. He takes things personally. <laughs> Do you want to hear a joke? Sure. Why did the cell phone need glasses? I don't know. Because it lost all its contacts. Oh, okay. Bye. Why couldn't the sailor learn his alphabet very well? I don't know. Because he always got lost at sea. I don't get it. What? Ah. Kyle, you gotta take it. You gotta let him spray you in the face. Not, no, that's. Ah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good, that's good. It's been dumb jokes. This is Kyle signing off for the last time. Hello my friends, it's Gustav Orschnowski, and I'm here at the Lickety Dirt Bag once again for this year. And we're uh, here with the winners of Cabin Inspection Results. As you can see, they're pretty happy and we're going to do some interviews with them. Let's go. Hello, you've just won Cabin Inspection Results. How do you feel? Awesome! Awesome! Hungry! Yeah! Hey, Julie! Papaya! Papaya! <laughs> How do you feel? You what, just won Cabin Inspection Results. Good. What are you going to do now? Eat, eat some ice cream. Papaya! Eat so much ice cream. Yeah. 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 Hey! Jesus! Don't listen, no way. This is a work day. Up with the bright sun. Get all the work done. If you will help me climb up a tall tree, shake the papaya down. Sweet, sweet papaya, fruit of the island. When all the work's done, it's on the way soon. If you will help me climb up a tall tree, Pretty good. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, you guys have just won cabin inspection results. How do you feel? Terrible. Good. Great. Wicked. Amazing. Hi. Hi. Great. Hello. Hi. Hi. What? <laughs> you just won cabin inspection results. How do you feel? Oh, okay. Just, just okay? Just okay? Yeah. Just okay. But some ice cream will make it, make it better? Yes? Yes? yes. Go get yes. some ice cream! Yes. Mr. Bright, Mr. Bright, how do you feel? Uh, I feel like I'm ready for some ice cream. Did you contribute mostly to your cabin success? Mostly or pretty much all? Pretty much all, right, right. Do you have any... Don't tell the kids that. Do, of course, of course. Do you have any secrets to your success, Mr. Bright? Uh, while they sleep, they don't know this, but um, kids stop listening. While they sleep all night long, I clean. Non-stop cleaning all night. Non-stop, non-stop. Is there any special product that you use that could be helpful? Or do you just get on your hands and knees and just like scrub it with a toothbrush? Um, uh, IV drip coffee. Coffee. Starbucks. 
Oh wait, no product placement. Mm. I, not. We're not sponsored. No. Good to know. Well, my friends, it's been Gustav. Oh, it's been Gustav Oshelski. And I will see you at some point later. This may be the last time you ever see me here on the 6 o'clock news, but I want to let you know it's been an absolute pleasure being here and interviewing you for these past five years. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, keep those cabins clean. This is Gustav Oshnowski, signing off. Hi, I'm Ian. I'm Kyle. I'm Rachel. And I'm Paige. And we produced the 6 o'clock news for you guys this week. It's been a pleasure doing the news, and it's been great doing it all for you guys. We had a really fun time, and we hope you guys did, too. We hope to see you guys next year. So, are we coming back next year? I don't know. We'll have to see. But remember, kids, God loves you.